Hello, how y'all doing today? I hope that you are feeling blessed and happy favor because that you are. God is with you and if God be for you, then who could be against you? Romans 8.31, don't forget that. Know that you are not alone. You are never truly alone. God is with you on all things. God will never leave nor forsake you as he has never loved nor forsake you. No matter what you are going through right now, you have to know, you have to trust that God will make a way out of no way. God will make a way we do not see a way because the word of God is light onto your feet and level to your path. Recognize on somebody, what we're talking about is how you being tested before you are blessed. You gotta be tested before you are blessed. In all things, somebody asked me, well, how do I know that I'm being tested? There is never a time where you are not being tested. One more time. There is never a time in which you are not being tested. You are being tested at all times. Yes, you're going to make mistakes. We all fall short of the glory of the Lord. But it's one thing to acquire information and it's another thing to apply information. One more time, somebody. It's one thing to acquire and it's one thing to apply the information that you acquire. Know better and do better. A lot of people out here knowing better, but they're not doing better. You got to know better and do better. You may make some mistakes, but but God is looking at you just like your teacher, for example. See, when you in school, right, the teacher is going to pass you or fail you based off of your performance, right? Based off of did you study or not or did you not study? The teacher know based off of how you performed on your assignment, how you performed on your test. That's how God is. God is just like that teacher. God will pass you if you show that you know better and do better. God will not fail you in a sense, but he'll keep you stagnated if you don't show him that you're knowing better and do better. So don't just acquire information. Also be applying information in your life. Know that you have to know better and not only know better, you have to also do better. You have to know if God before you, who could be against you, Romans 8, 31. When you know better, you do better. You got to continue to seek God and continue to get wisdom with how to use knowledge. You have to know that God is with you on all things and God will never lean over you as he has never let over you. You got to know that God said, touch on my anointing to do my prophets no harm. Psalm 105, 15. Nobody can touch you and nobody can harm you because what God has for you is just for you, somebody. One more time, what God has for you is just for you and for nobody else. You have to know that God has plans to prosper you and not harm you. His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. The hell is above the earth like 55. So God's ways are not the ways of man, but he has plans to better your life. You can't fathom the way that God is moving, but God's report is not the dark's report. The dark's report is not God's report. God's ways are not man's ways. In the book of Matthew, it says, When man thinks that things may seem impossible, but with God, all things are possible. One more time. With man, things may seem impossible, but with God, all things are possible. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Philippians 4 13. You can do all things through God, with God, and in God. Not some things in the Bible. It says all things, not one, two, three things, all things. You can do all things as long as you know that God is for you. God is for you, but you got to be for you as well. Because today is the oldest you have ever been and the youngest you will ever be. You have to live with you for the rest of your life. Nobody can be you and you can't be nobody else. You got to know that you must walk into rooms with confidence and not arrogance. One more time, walk into rooms with confidence and not arrogance. It don't matter who question you, who feels some type of way, who don't want you there, who feel in some type of way. It don't matter. Negative don't have to exist unless you allow it to. People and things don't have to exist unless you allow it to. Don't allow things into your inner matrix, into your territory, to invade your territory and to invade your atmosphere that will not serve you. You must keep people placing things that no longer serve you a mental funeral. You must release because if God told you to release something, you must always know people are replaceable. Things are replaceable. God will always bring more and new into your life. God always has more in store for you, but you got to know better and do better in all things. Walk into rooms with that confidence and not arrogance, knowing that no matter what, God sent me here because God sent you. People going to talk about you rich or poor. People going to talk about you doing good or bad, so you might as well do good and prosper no matter what. You might as well know that you have a destination reaching that to the top. Everybody is not you though. You must not get survivor's guilt. So it's easy for somebody that has a good heart. If you just like me, if you're a good person, it's easy for you to feel and have the benefit of the doubt for people or to give people second chance and things of that matter. But when people show you who they, are, who they are the first time, you must believe them. Everybody is not you. Everybody don't have the same heart and the same mindset as you. Amen. You can't see somebody heart. See, if you can see somebody heart off back just like God can, then it will be easy for you to decipher between people. See, man, us as men, we look at the outer appearance, but God looks at the heart god knows what's on the inside god knows that in a man god knows what intent they have for you so even if you have positive intent for a person they had negative intent you didn't know about it god knew your intent that's why you will prosper no matter what so you never lost anything you really gained everything one more time you never lost anything you really gained everything in his life and you're going to continue to gain because god is in the business of working for you and something happened and god allowed it to happen because everything happens for a reason nothing happens just to happen nothing happens like a coincidence Everything happens strategically. God's an intentional God. Everything happens according to his perfect and divine timing. So don't just be acquiring information, but also be applying the information that you are acquiring in this life. Know better and do better. Know your worth and add taxes because if you don't know your worth, the people will play you for your worth. You have to know that God is with you every step of the way. And if God before you, who could be against you? God is not against you. God is with you. Do not forget who you are. Do not have an identity crisis. See, many people out here these days are having an identity crisis. They forget who they are. They don't know what they own. They feel like they got to be codependent on the next person. But if you're in a season of ice, 
isolation right now. If you're somebody that feels like you are alone right now, you got to recognize I'm somebody. You got to be strong to be alone. Lions hunt alone, hyenas hunt in packs. You don't need a group of people because demons move in legions. You have your own energy. You don't have your own power. People have to feed off each other's energy. People have to come up against you. But no matter what, you got to recognize when you're alone, that's when you recognize who you are more. That's when you recognize that people will never be able to do how they did you again. That's when you recognize who your God is. That's when you will learn more about yourself in order to prosper and things of that matter. See, when you involve people in what you have going on, that can bring you more de detriment and destruction. You have to let go in order to grow. You got to be tested before you are blessed. Everything is a test, but you got to always pass these tests swiftly. You got to know you're going to make mistakes sometimes, but you look back and see how far you made it. Instead of looking back and go back, you never look back and go back because if you go back into a situation that God has freed you from, it'll be 10 times harder for you to get out that situation. You have to look back and see how far you made it. Everything you look at, you can learn from. One more time, somebody. Everything you look at, you can learn from. So everything that you've been through has built you for who you are today. You have to look at what you've been through in the past and know better and do better. Know your worth the ad text, even if you make a mistake. I know we all have that one ex that comes up like, I miss you. I love you. Come over. Right? But you got to recognize something, somebody. It's not always you leaving people's life and people leaving your life. Sometimes God will remove you or remove them because God has better for you. But God is testing you. You cannot go against free will. God allows you to have free will to see what you're going to do next. Or if somebody try to antagonize you and make you mad and try to irritate you, God going to see, are you going to get them... God gonna see, are you gonna give them your energy? Are you gonna give them your power? Are you gonna react to the negativity? Or are you gonna keep looking at me instead? Keep seeking first the community's righteousness that all things shall be added on to you, Matthew 6 or 3. No weapon that's formed against these shall prosper. Any sun that shall rise in sun and judgment against that shall be condemned. Isaiah 54, 17. Touch not my anointed to do my prophets no harm. Psalm 105, 15. Though I walk through the shadow of valley of death, I shall fear no evil. Psalm 23. God has handled your life. God's the God of the living and not the dead. To live doesn't mean you're alive, somebody, but you're well alive because you have God on your side. You have God with you every step of the way. You are not alone. You may feel alone, but you are not alone. Shame, guilt, doubt, worry, fear, feeling lonely, depressed, things of that matter, anxiety. That is not adding years onto your life. One more time, that's not adding years onto your life. So you got to let go in order to grow and know that God is with you every step of the way. God will exalt you. God will prosper you. But you have to know that his ways are higher than your ways. You can't fathom his ways, but God's poor is not doctor's poor. God's poor is not man's poor. You have to know that you will make it. You can't fake it. Real is rare and fake is everywhere. Perfect people ain't real and real people ain't perfect. You're real and God made you in his image, meaning you are not God, but you are made in his image. You will make mistakes, but you have to know better and do better. Not just acquire information because we all gain wisdom not to understand it on a daily basis we also have to apply it to our lives we have to apply what we have learned we have to apply things so that we can grow so that we can prosper because if you don't apply it you remain stagnated recognize his levels to this with new levels come new devils god gave you the authority to trump over service god gave you the authority to conquer new devils on new levels but you have to use the information that you acquire and apply it as well you got to know better and do better you got to be tested for your blessing somebody ask me zarya when i be when i be when am i being tested you're being tested 24 7 God see, okay, you gonna lay in bed all day? Okay, cool. You gonna get up tomorrow though. God see, okay, cool. Are you about to do this? You gonna give them your energy or you gonna protect your energy? God always is testing you. And that's how you level up. With new levels come new devils. But God gave you authority to conquer new levels on these new devils. These new devils on these new levels. You have the power. You are forced to be reckless. You don't have to ask God to give you anything because God already placed everything on the inside of you. You just ask God to show you what he placed on the inside of you. God put a special chip on the inside of you that he didn't place on the inside of everybody else. You are God's process. You are a light in the of darkness and it says in Micah 7 7 you are a light in the midst of darkness no matter what nothing and nobody can stop your trying to stop your brother unless you allow it to this is a marathon not a race one more time this is a marathon not a race do not allow people and things to dictate and narrate your outcome because God God already gave you the authority God already gave you the power the wisdom not to understand it it's already inside you everything you have is within you be you not conform to ways this world but instead conform to in your mind Romans 12 2 meaning anything on the outside cannot bring you fulfillment everything is already inside of you it don't matter about materialistic things Things and money and things like that matter. That's not what make you real because real is real fake is everywhere. Anybody can get some money and try to portray themselves as real, right? And really be fake. You gotta recognize something. God is with you. You gotta keep knowing and keep going. You gotta know that God will bring you that fulfillment and God will bring you what you are searching for on the outside because it's already inside of you. It's in you, not on you. The power already abides in you. In Jesus' name, glory be to God. Don't forget, you have to take care of your health because health is wealth. Your health mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. The enemy wants you to think you are insane and standards between the same thing over and over again. Expect the results. You are not insane. You are not less than who God says you are. You are who God says you are. Do not allow man to deceive you th to thinking that you are not who God says you are in Jesus' name. Let's put this up. Hold on. Stay on, y'all. Hold on. Put that up. Hold on. Boom. That's how we gonna do that. Boom. Uh, okay boom that's my oil change thing y'all don't pay attention to that okay <laughs> all right
We back on. We back on with it. Hold on. Let's move the camera over a little bit. All right. Okay. In Isaiah 40, verse 29, it says, He gives power to the faint and to them that have no might, He increased their strength. One more time. He gives power to the faint and to them that have no might, He increased their strength. So no matter what, you may feel like you want to give up. You may feel like you are low. You may feel like you are less than, but you have to know no matter what, God is with you on all things and God will never lean over forsake you as He has never lived over forsake you. You got to know that no matter what you are going through, that God will always make a way out of no way. You have to know that God will always clear the path for you. God will always work things out of your favor. God will always get the glory out of your story. Your current situation is not your final destination. What you are going through right now is not going to last forever. This too shall pass, says the Lord. Hard times have last, says the Lord. Everything happens in seasons, just like spring, summer, with the fall. What you are going through is just for a season. And recognize, everybody's not meant to be around for a lifetime. Some people, some people meant for seasons, reasons, less of blessings. So no matter what, everybody ain't meant to stick to you forever. People will try to come back in and attack themselves to you. But you better be careful you let a snake back in. You better be careful if you play with fire because fire burn you. Just like if you put your hand on that hot stove, you got to recognize on somebody. If you put your hand on that hot stove and that hot stove is burning you, right? You got to release it, right? Right? You have to release it just like people place and things because if you hold on to things that are not serving you, you will continue to burn yourself and it causes you pain and destruction and chaos and things of that manner. You have to know better and do better. You got to know that God is not the author of confusion. God will always show you and reveal to you who's for you. God reveals and the enemy exposes. One more time. God reveals things to you and the enemy exposes. And Jesus, God will always give you revelation and confirmation where you need revelation and confirmation. God is with you every step of the way. You are not alone. You are never truly alone. You have to know that everything is working out in your favor. You are able. You are not unstable. You are not unsteady. Weapons will form, but they shall not prosper. You have to know no matter what, God is with you. He will strengthen you. He will uphold you. He will help you with the right hand of his righteousness. As he said in Isaiah 41, verse 10, you have to know that no matter what, you are a conqueror. You have to know that you cannot see faith, but you have to have faith in knowing that God is moving for you. You got to continue to put in that work because faith without works is dead. Continue to put in that work and know that no matter what, God is with you. God is working things out in your favor. Things are not happening to you. They're happening for you because all the things work out for the gross blood of the Lord that are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. It's all working out in your favor. You are able. You are not unstable. You are not unsteady it's all working out for you it's not happening to you it's happening for you you're viewing it wrong you're viewing it as strange that you're going through so many things at once but recognize up somebody god said you should be rejoicing when you're going through so much because that shows your power if multiple people have to come up against one little old you you have to recognize some somebody that shows your power that shows your strength god wants you to begin to see what's on the inside of you god does not want you to view yourself as who you was in 2015 2014 2012 2009 2000 right 1990 he wants you to see at you as who you are today in 2022 on this present day because if you view yourself as past version of yourself that you will bring back an old version of you you have to let go in order to grow you will no longer be that boy or be that girl you are now a woman of god you are now a man of god you must praise your god because when praise go up bless come down god will open up a window in heaven for you and pour our blessings that you won't have room enough to receive somebody no matter what you are who god says you are you are not who people told you were god sees you up on high so if you cannot see yourself how god sees you you have to ask god to allow you to perceive yourself how he perceives you god sees you up on high you are in his possession you are light in the midst of darkness one more time about you are light in the midst of darkness you know people People have demons that abide within them, right? Because everybody's not comfortable living the truth. A lot of people are comfortable in a lot. A lot of people are comfortable in chaos and trauma and which love drama, right? A lot of people are comfortable in that low place. And people will think that you belong in that low place with them. But you don't belong in that low place they try to keep you in. You don't belong in that low place they try to put you in. You don't belong in that low place they try to leave you for dead. And no matter what, you are of the living and not of the dead. God's the God of the living and not of the dead. To live doesn't mean you're alive, but you're well alive. You gotta know that still you rise, just like Jesus did on the third day, still you rise. People have demons in them, and them demons are attracted to your life. They don't always know why they want your life, but they want that light because you have the light within you already they want your power they want your strength that god has given you but no matter what you got to protect your energy and keep it in you you have to know that People are out here operating out of a dark place and they don't even know that they're operating out of a place of darkness all the time. You have to know no matter what is going on that God will always make way out of no way. You have to know when people have demons attached to them, them demons already know who you are. Them demons want your power. Them demons want your light. Them demons want your energy in Jesus' name. Protect your energy and protect your mind, your body, and your spirit. Let no man deceive you. I said scripture. Do not allow the enemy to deceive you into thinking that you are not who God says you are. Do not allow the enemy to make you go into that low place. Look back and see how far you made it. Do not look back and go back. Look back and see how far you made it. You made it very far. You are God's possession. God said not a hair on your head will perish. Touch not my anointing to do my prophets no harm. Psalm 115. Nobody can touch you. Nobody can harm you. Nobody can stop you because you serve a God of mercy. You serve a mighty God and a powerful God because God is with you. He would never lean over forsake you. In Deuteronomy, in Deuteronomy 32, verse 47, it says, for it is not a vain thing for you because it is your life. And through this thing you shall prolong your days in the land whether ye go over the Jordan to process it. Amen. So recognize somebody face without works is dead 
continue to have faith and put in that work and know that no matter what is going on, that God is going to continue to add more things onto you. He is going to bring you through that storm. He has already brought you through. You got to believe and you got to trust that it's already done and that he never left nor forsake you because he will never leave nor forsake you. Man may have left you for dead and did you dirty and did you wrong and talk about you this, that, and the third, but God will never do that to you because God loves you. His faithful love endures forever. So don't view it as strange when people are coming up against you. View it like it's showing you your power. View it like it's showing you your strength. Do it like your God loves you because you are powerful. He made you that powerful. He made you that mighty. He made you that much of a conqueror. He made you that much of a warrior and a fighter. Yes, all your life you had to tussle, right? All your life you had to fight, right? But for we are not just bound against flesh and blood, but we are bound against spiritual weakness, evil principalities, and high places, feet six. So it's not people you up against, it's spirits and people that you are up against. These demons, just like bugs when they fall to the light in the summertime, right? Them demons are flying to you. They want to attach themselves to you. They want to overpower you. The enemy comes in like a flood. He throws fiery darts at you. He wants to steal, kill, destroy what you got going on in your life. He throwing fiery darts at you, but your God is a consuming fire. Your God, in other words, eat that fire up. Your God is with you on all things. Your God will not allow that fire to overconquer you. You must break those chains. You must break those strongholds, and you must break out of that captivity that the enemy has tried to keep you bounded in, because you don't belong in that low place that people have tried to put you in. You don't belong in that low place that you have placed yourself into, somebody. You are better. You are much better. You gotta recognize you don't look like nothing you've been through. The reason you don't look like nothing you've been through because that's the power of God. That's the power of the Holy Spirit that abides in you. People don't like you don't know you cry. They don't know nights you pray. They don't know the demons you have to face. They don't know what you went through. They don't know the trials and tribulations. They don't know the nights you have to talk yourself off the ledge. They don't know when you have to talk yourself away from the pills, away from that alcohol, away from that weed. You don't, they don't know what you had to go through. But no matter what, know that God is always with you and God will never leave or forsake you as he has never left or forsake you. It's okay. We all fall short of the glory of the Lord. We all make mistakes, but no matter what, you fall down. Yeah, but you got to get back up. You got to stand 10 toes on what you know you got to stand for. You got to stand for something. Don't fall for anything. One more time. Stand for something. Don't fall for anything. Do not allow enemy to deceive you. Do not allow no man to deceive you and think that God is not with you. People will try to trick you out of your blessings. People will try to get you to block your blessings. You got to protect your energy and know your worth and add text because if you don't know your worth, then people will play you for it. You have to live with you for the rest of your life. Today is the oldest you have ever been and the youngest you will ever be. You have to live with you for the rest of your life. Nobody can be you and you can't be nobody else in Jesus' name. So live your life for you and no matter what, keep on keeping on. Keep pushing, keep striving, and keep reaching towards the market I calling. People do not get to box you for people that's not on what you want. It's easy for us to feel bad for people that's not on our level. There's levels to this. When new levels come, new devils. People can do exactly what you do and they know if they did what you did, but they choose not to do what you do. But they know if they did what you did, the world be a better place, right? But they choose not to do what you do, so it's that they envious of you. That's envy. Jealousy is love mixed with hate. They don't know if they want to kiss you or kick you. And Jesus, you got to let go of order to grow. You got to continue to prosper. Haters, H-A-T-E-R-S, having anger towards everyone reach success. But you got to know no matter what, you got to let go of order to grow. Don't care about the hate. Drink the hate like Red Bull. Next tip don't have this is unless you allow it to get things that are not serving you. Mental funerals that go on earth to grow. Know that the blessing of the Lord makes a man rich. He has no sorrow to it. Proverbs 10 22. Rich. R I C H. Realize that I create happiness. Recognize you create happiness, peace, joy, things of that matter. Don't give nobody consent to take what God has given you on the inside of you because what God has for you is just for you. God placed that special trip on the inside of you. He didn't get that to everybody else. Everybody is not you. Everybody not own what you own. Everybody don't have to say mind to you. Some people out here with malicious intent, evil intent, negative intent. Some people trying to pull you down like crabs in a bucket. The reason why people are trying to pray you down is because they already beneath you. One more time, they want to pull you down because they're already beneath you. Be like the sun. Nobody go up to the sun and take the sun down. The sun is like when they want to turn up and turn down. In Jesus' name, no matter what you are going through, know that you will always get through. It's not rejection with God. It's redirection with God to a better purpose. It's not rejection with God. It's protection with God because God, see, they were trying to set you up in three to five years. You don't even know about it. It's not denial with God. It's not a no. It's just a small delay in order to get you to a better direction for your future. For another place that I have, you say the Lord puts a prosperity in our arms give you hope in the future. Jeremiah 29 11, it's working out your favor. Weapons will form indeed, but they shall not prosper in Jesus' name. Though you walk through the shadow of the valley of death, you shall fear no evil. In Jesus' name, glory be to God. The Lord shall shepherd you shall not want. Psalm 23, you won't know where you like, nowhere you weak, nowhere. You powerful. You're more powerful than you think. You're more powerful than you know. And then you feel in Jesus' name. Don't forget that. You are a force to be reckoned with. And if anybody loses, it's not going to be you. Your God is an invitable force, but you are a force as well to be reckoned with. Nobody can stop you unless you allow it to. This is a marathon, not a race. You got to know that God said it's already done. 
There is no perfect time for anything. Do what you got to do and take care of you. God said start a business, a YouTube channel, whatever. Do it. God already has the people up who going to support you. Family members might not support you, but strangers will. Do you hear me? God got to prepare for you. This is your confirmation. God got to prepare for you. There's no such thing as a perfect time. Do what you got to do and take care of you. Do it now. You don't want to sit up and see other people promote themselves all day. You might as well promote yourself. Use your platforms. Use what you got to use and do what you got to do. You are the God of the living and not the dead. You are living to live doesn't mean you're alive, but you're well alive in Jesus' name. You have an identity. You have a life. You got to keep being you and keep on keeping on. Move wide, serpent, harms and stuff. Know better and do better. Don't just acquire information. Also, apply the information that you acquire into your life on a daily basis and know that you are growing. You're getting better with time. See, they can't understand how you're getting better with time. You're getting better with time because that's you on your grind. That's you on your shine. So keep shining in Jesus' name. Keep pushing your smart and eye calling. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory present our top five in heaven. Make sure you sow a seed. If you feel led to give something to this word, my cash app pin on the video in my bio my cash app is money symbol z-r-r-a-t-r-o-i number seven it's on the video it's in my bio if you feel led to go follow me on other platforms other than tiktok follow me if you're new here glory be to god my name is zaria troy and my facebook my instagram my youtube is that zaria troy same name on here z-r-r-a space t-r-o-i make sure you go follow me i post all these videos and other videos on my platforms on a daily basis i'm active on every single platform on a daily basis and i also have a podcast in my bio in jesus name you be blessed let the church say amen amen glory be to god you take care and know that i pray for you on and off cameras i pray all vocs on and off camera glory be to god take care of yourself don't neglect yourself protect yourself don't neglect yourself respect yourself tell them put some respect on your name in jesus name what that tiktok dance go like put some respect on my name put some, tell them put some respect on your name and don't play with you because you're not one of them all 2022 tell them don't play with you because you are a child of god you're not one of them meaning you're not one to be played with if anybody loses it's not gonna be you in jesus name no more n-o-m-o no more can they play with you no more can they manipulate you and run over you and take what you have because what god has for you is just for you you will receive everything that had god has for you but you got to have that mentality when god elevates your life you got to elevate your mentality and knowing that god gonna do what he says gonna do heaven and earth shall pass away but my words shall not turn up to me void luke 21 33 heaven and earth kick a lot today but god's word ain't going nowhere it's going to happen for you you got to believe and you receive you got to believe you will achieve the source with your belief and your faith do not allow people to deceive you to thinking that it's not going to happen for you because you are not them, and they are not you. You have to live with you for the rest of your life. Don't get survivor's guilt. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Unless you want to go down with them. You look back and see how far you made it. Don't look back and go back. You look back and see how far you made it. You made it very far. In Jesus' name, glory be to God. All glory praise on top five in heaven. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel at Zaria Troy. Facebook, Instagram, same name on here. Zaria Troy, Z-R-I-A, space T-R-O-I. Go support me, please. Glory be to God. I'm consistent on every single platform as well as a podcast that I have in my bio as well. You don't want to see my face too much. Listen to my voice. That podcast has got some powerful words on it. Amen. And also, if you feel led to sow a seed, my cash app pin on the video is also in my bio. It's money symbol Z A R I A T R O I number seven. It's on the video and it's also in my description. All the links in my description box on my TikTok page. Glory be to God. Bless you. Take care, everybody.